I'm Mark Reynolds, I'm the SOP Operations Manager, um, and we're standing kind of in the middle of our East Pond system. This pond system consists of about 22,000 acres of, of diked ponds. Um, behind me is one of our potash ponds, and farther over to the west is where we have our pre-concentration ponds or pre-potash ponds. Um, we bring our brine in from the Great Salt Lake and the North Arm and pump it through our ponds and control the chemistry um, to be able to get it to deposit the right minerals in the right spot. So this is, a, this is typical of our potash ponds as we flow brine during the summertime then and we evaporate the water we will deposit minerals out in those ponds. In this pond then we're, we're after the primarily the potassium and the sulfates um, but we'll get a lot of other salts depositing. During the summer we'll come in and keep, keep our canals flowing and keep the ponds and moving to be able to control it for optimal depth and optimal evaporation. We keep the ponds generally less than six inches deep and that gives us kind of an optimal height um, for operations and also evaporation. So not very deep, very shallow. One of the great things of, of GSL's process is that we use a lot of solar energy in our process. So all the work that's done in separating the minerals from the brine and getting them into the deposit is done through solar energy. So as the, as the brine is put in these big ponds and exposed to that sunlight during the summer, we get water evaporating off of it. And as the water evaporates, then there's no holding power for those minerals and it drops the minerals out. The first thing to fall out in our process is the sodium chloride. And then after that is the potassium. And then finally what's left over is our magnesium sulfate and chlorides. And so we'll use this solar process and this evaporation process to help us naturally separate the different minerals and deposit in the right ponds the minerals that we're looking for to, to harvest our three main products which are the sodium chloride, the potash, and the magnesium chloride. To do what we do with solar energy it would take it would take about 12 million tons of coal a year for the same amount of energy that we get from the sun. Once we harvest the material in the ponds we'll bring it in via truck and put it into our um, potash salts stockpile. Um, we'll use and then process this material in our potash plant, purify it, um, increase the concentration and crystallize out the sulfate of potash, and then remove the impurities such as the sodium chloride to develop our final low chloride product. So once the material is harvested and brought into the stockpile, it's conveyed into a crush tower where it's crushed inside so that we can get the proper reactions um, inside the plant and get the chemistry um, where we want it to go. Once the material is crushed in size, it's sent into a series of cooling crystallizers and solid recovery units where we convert it into a shonite. Shonite's the intermediate material that we make in the plant to allow us to purify it in preparation for making sulfate of potash. And then behind me is one of our thickeners. This is used to recover the solid shonite and advance it in the process. And then beyond the, the shonite system, then we take it into the SOP crystallizer. The SOP crystallizer converts it from the shonite into the pure SOP, rejects the sodium and the other impurities, and produces the pure sulfate of, product, sulfate of potash product.